So I'm, not, uh, I'm going to explain about how we how we build our data model. So uh, basically, we use rapid miner to to solve our problems to perform the data mining task. And at first, uh, we read the Excel, which is we import the file from the computer or the pen drive. It depends on where you save it. And then we discretize it, which is uh, we want to do the classification. So no numerical value is allowed. So we this data we change the numerical value to uh, categorical attribute and then we normalize it, we set the rows which is uh, it's like the outcome we set it like if you want to predict a, a, a departure delay then we set it as the row and then we split the data into two, uh, two parts which is the 0 0.7 and 0 0.3 which is 70% for the training set and 30% for the validation set. And then for the training set, we connect it to the logistic regression, which is the one of the module. We can replace it with another module like uh, random forest or decision tree. And then we connect it to the applied model with the validation set. We want to test it whether the model is good or not. And then we show it inside the performance the accuracy and how how much is it as to see that the model is good or not. Okay, next is the result. So I'm going to invite my partners to explain about it. Okay, so now I will explain the data mining technique to uh, predict the arrival delay or flight, which is our first objective. So first of all, uh, we have to do the data cleaning and data pre-processing process first uh, before we doing before we using the data mining technique to uh, to predict the arrival delay of a flight. Uh, so to predict the arrival delay of a flight, first we use the classification model uh, to predict the arrival delay of a flight. First, we we have built a column of the arrival delay by uh, by calculating it by using the the, the original data which is the latest arrival flight uh, minus the scheduled arrival flight so we can find out the arrival delay of a flight and then we we change the arrival delay of the flight into the binomial attribute which is if the arrival delay is more than zero so the flight is is uh, consider as delay and if the arrival delay is less than zero so the flight is uh, considered as not delay so first we using the classification model to predict the arrival delay of flight we using three model logistic regression decision tree and random forest this three model has a uh, accuracy that is higher than 80 percent so it is this means that the model is quite suitable to predict the delay of a flight and the uh, render forest has the most performance among all of the three models so after that we use the data set to do the clustering model it is k-min and the x-min Be uh, because k-min uh, uh, before we, we have to apply k-min we have to consider the value of the k so we have to uh, each value of the value of the k to find out which k which value of k have the best performance among all. So we have to do this uh, ever and we find out that the k when the value k is equal to seven, the k mean has the uh, highest performance based on the damage bounding index. So after that, the clustering model. Uh, compare the clustering model uh, between the k-min and s-min and we found that the k-min has the, has the best performance with, uh, among the k-min and the s-min so after that the clustering model is used to use to the clustering best classification and, and enhancement to compare the uh, different
difference between the standard classification and the clustering best classification enforcement. So from the table we can uh, find out that the random forest has the best uh, has the best uh, performance in the standard classification. However, decision tree and the logistic regression has the best performance uh, on the clustering best classification enforcement. So uh, we can conclude that the clustering best classification enforcement can help in uh, increase the performance of the data mining technique and the logistic regression which is clustering best classification enforcement has the best uh, has the best performance among all so it is selected as the model in uh, our objective one which is used to predict the arrival delay of a flight. So uh, next uh, for the objective two which is the Predict the duration of departure delay, I will pass it to my friend to explain about it. So, uh, this is the result for the second objective, which is to predict the uh, duration of the departure delay. And basically, we use three types of the module. Uh, this is a continu continuous prediction uh, presentation. So, we use three types of uh, module, which is the linear regressions, support vector machines, and the neural networks. And uh, like what the Citra group mentioned just now, uh, we we did found that uh, the data is quite limited because uh, almost ninety percent of this uh, there are no delay types, and then there is about ten percent of this have a delay type. So we we have uh, find the average of the delay type for each of the uh, delay code. And then we apply it to every models, and then we find the we. This is our result for each of the delay type, and then we get the average of for each of the module, and we find that for all of them the values are below the fifteen, which means uh, it uh the this. Uh, data set is quite fit to it, and then we do found that neural network work the best, it has the best performance. So uh, we use a neural network, neural network instead of the, the other two module. So uh, in the conclusions, the in the predict for predicting the arrival delay, we we the best performance data model is the logistic regressions. Uh, which is applying the k-mean model when the value k is 7 and for the predicting the duration of the departure delays the performance, the best performance is the neural network so by using this model the objective can be achieved and the loss can be minimized and some more is uh, the, these data models can be enhanced and and it can be better if there is more and more data we can get we can get more and more data so this is our web page and you can go through it if you want to know more about our research result that's all for us and thank you